Suppressing fire. Suppressing fire is a course like dictionary about a weapon that shoots at volume of fire and putting rounds down rage, leaving fear for the enemy that can never retaliate back. This tactic has been used throughout World War II and still been used today. And for that, I'd like to thank an old bird that told me as it flew by, probably an English bird, flew by and told me this advice. And so, I'll deliver the goods. So, of course, <laughs> okay, sorry about the, uh, sorry about that, uh, that cheesy intro, but, uh, yeah, Tom, uh, gave me an idea of, of how to make certain, at least, and I also want to try this myself too, but Tom came up with it, is, what is it like to see enemies being staggered or feared by just volume of fire? Well, so far, um, as we look at the weapon stat, the biggest one we're focusing here is the fret. Now, the fret, you can only have a maximum 243, and it works for special weapons, but I went ahead with the, probably the most, the Probably the most origin of suppression fire, it is the MG42. It's basically the weapon that gives suppression fire a true meaning. And the skills with it, well, of course I went ahead and uh, as I go for the more focusing skills, such as Heavy Impact Ace, which your shots have a... Well, a 20% chance to sire all enemies except for bulldozers and Captain Winters and the dire need is when your armor breaks the first shot on enemy will cause that enemy to stagger so hopefully these two I think will stack together as well as having a perk deck either muscle or sociopath to increase the panic where for disturbing the peace and muscle all firearms has a chance to do it. Well, in social path, you need to kill an enemy at a medium range and has a 75 chance to do. But I think it still works when you fire it as well. I'm not really too sure. I mean, when I use muscle and social path, I still kill them about the exact same number of times. So it probably makes it a harvestable difference. But if it is, at least description, I will tell you. So, so this time I'm gonna run muscle, and my secondary is gonna be a Grim 12 with Dragon's Breath, which it's already a max up by default. The only thing I changed on the MG42, which, of course, which I think is definitely gonna be very fun with this idea. Of course, you can't have fun without the funnel of fun nozzle, which is definitely increase your fret. Not only in terms of damage, but also increase your fret. So that is going to be very interesting to see how this works. And no, I won't try this on Death Sense Difficulty because, after all, I do pl play pay Payday 2 and I do like to make videos to, to have a little fun and also challenging. And not everything has to be on Death Sense. After all, not everyone is... Um, fitted to play DSOD. So, I'll try this on either Mayhem or Deathwish. Most likely, uh... Most likely, uh, Deathwish, and also for the extra health, I'm just gonna pick up the, uh, Reinforcer for the Tier 3. So... Alright, that's... Well, enough talking. Now let's, this time, let's put some bullet down range with live rounds this time. What's more cursed than the diamond in a McKendrick Museum? Well, what about a one dragon armored division with massive volumes of fire? So I'm not even trying, trying to, you know, try and dominate them. I'm just gonna go, just go ham basically, and the diamond is perfect too because 
they drop loads of comps from skylights through windows and there's going to be everywhere so this would actually be very fitting of course these guys don't stand a chance because well i already carry the most powerful gun so i wait when the real boys show up and i'll try to do not use much of the grim troll because the whole dragon's breath effect so this time around i will just use the mg42 which would be actually pretty amazing I figured the MG42 would be the only thing I need. Oh, I really want. <laughs> oh, don't show fear towards me, you stupid cops. Fear can get you killed. Wow, they really have no chance to fire it back. You know, I don't really have to, like, purposely aim. Okay, I'm kind of scared now because I don't have a perk deck that works like fight dirty with the dozer at front, like the kingpin. What would they such on the green dozer? Oh, that's a green. Oh, speak of green dozers. I know you don't do any shit. Oh my god, really? Dallas just told you to be on the ground! And now you are. All eternity. Oh my god. Actually, this is actually quite fun. And I'm doing this on Death Wish, so... Honestly... This actually feels amazing. And I feel like that's what the purpose of some of these skills are for. They're not really meant to try to balance out the highest difficulty of being death sentence. After all, I feel like they're more balanced for death wish. And... Well, that's what they try to do, and also make it fun at the same time. Oh, really? so dumb. Okay, they really need to change this too. For the medic. If they ever bring back the medics and payday free, they had to be in a line of sight to be healed. And there's another... That's the problem with the MG42 right here is, uh, you burn your ammo quickly. Not in terms of out of ammo, but in terms of you had to reload. But that makes sense because of the magazine I have. Oh my god, could you imagine if you have like a wrapped up of so much bandolier around you, and you can just go a ham with this gun. Okay, this kind of Makes me want to do this with the uh, with the M60, and sadly we don't have that on console. I bet the M60 would be pretty badass because due to the slower rate of fire. Oh wait, I have bought ammo too. What did I buy for? Oh, that's right. Just get the 
get more of my skills and I think it also applies to the assets of the ammo bag that are around the map so if I deplete all of it I get the bullet storm skill okay even I can't be a god like that oh I promise you this will get chaotic the deeper we go to the, the diamond Away because I don't want to get. Sometimes I forgot I have first aid kits, but that, that doesn't really matter. Oh, he's! I see him staggered. I saw him staggered. I saw him staggered and unfortunately he was in my line of sight so I finished him off. I don't think the panic works on specials, but I do know the stagger does. And here we go again. Oh, I think. Okay, I thought they opened the door, but. God damn, look at this. Look at all this freaking absolute carnage. Oh, at least I can now cover up the, uh, well, there's, I guess there's really, like no point trying to find like the lowest threat weapon and then the highest because it still feels the same to me. It doesn't really change much of the gunplay at all. Sometimes having a lower threat does help because that way they don't have to dodge enemies while you're trying to predict where the recoil of the pattern of your weapon goes. Like, most of you aim at their chest and your weapon kicks go up and you're aiming for the head. out of reach. A flashback for these cops. Oh, minigun. Holy god. Okay, okay, stop hitting me. You know, that's one thing I like about the minigun dozer suit on Death Wish, besides its uh, death sentence. I love that his camo's like, it's like a vanilla ice cream color. Wired in its uh, other suit. Oh, he was like the sniper! Oh my god. Wow, that. Wow, that is actually very satisfying. 
Normally we we fear of snipers in Payday 2, but seeing him getting staggered, oh that was a, oh that was beautiful. Now I don't know, I'm gonna do the whole thing here, so let me just see. I'll probably too lazy to do it, and I'll try to like to remember it. Okay, you know what? You're okay, you're just bluff. You're just BSing me now. Anyway, that means more time to strike fear into my enemy's hearts. And literally, with uh, 7.92 by 57 millimeter mouse around. God, could you just... God. Too bad this was like, not having this much number of enemies on, um, like PC has. Which I probably would have just caused more fear. Okay, that is really powerful. Honestly, if this was a meta in DSOD, I honestly think this I would actually enjoy it. Ah, uh, Soko, get out of my way. Soko! Look at this! Look how many times I staggered them, even though I miss a lot. But that's what you do for suppressing fire. You just put the round down range regardless if you hit or not. I wasn't even able to last that long when my armor breaks. Oh, of course, I bring in the no fun guy. Or fun guy ruiner. Try and ruin my fun. I'm not gonna let that happen. Borrowed a mechanic from COD World War II is that when you deploy a bipod, it takes your ammo, it takes the um, ammo from your reserve and not in the magazine. So could you imagine if I just stay in that spot and just don't have to reload at all? That would be awesome. Oh, can I reach high? Oh, just barely. Come on. Oh my God, bipod. Damn. 
I'm not sure how many kills I'm gonna make here, but I'm definitely gonna make a lot of cops retire on this day. I feel like that guy has confidence. Okay, you're a cooker, I see you. Thank god I could have at least something to work against you. Unlike that single fire crank off with 16 stability. Hey, Schnippa. I'm just gonna do this. I don't need to carelessly aim, and that's where I go. Yeah, even with the funnel fun nozzle, which worsens your accuracy, I can still hit my target pretty good at medium range. And if I had to deal with long range, well, I could just use a bipod. God, look at this. Look how many, look at them scramble. Oh my God. But, Your cut is being transferred now. Enjoy this payday. I will but yeah, I actually had fun with it. Of course, the panics do. Uh, of course, the enemies do get panicked quite a lot. And of course, as long you don't want to have ammo, as in you have to reload, or you do need to have your, um, load up with an ammo bag. Uh, yeah, it does stagger quite a bit. You just have to be careful with the dozer since, of course, this, him, and Captain Winters are the only enemies that they don't get staggered. So, just be careful with them. Definitely a blast to go through with this idea. So, thanks again, Tom, for the idea. And hopefully I can think of other ideas that makes it more interesting. But, yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. Until next time, farewell, and have a wonderful day, everyone. And how very appropriate that I got the war face. Now, does it not strike fear into your hearts, guys? <laughs>